Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Joffrey Noodle Legs here today. Uh, got another noodle film with you. Uh, one I've been wanting to do for a little while, but just haven't got around to doing it. But um, I'm going to do it today. And we're looking at 1982's Girls' Night Out. Um, first of all, we'll have a little look at this edition. Uh, it's produced by Arrow Video uh, on Blu-ray. It comes with a slip case. It comes with a reversible sleeve and it comes with like a booklet on the film which has got I believe like interviews and stuff in there, an essay. So that's quite cool. So a little synopsis of the film. The film starts off at a, um, at a hospital. Yes, Mr. Kavanaugh. Why didn't you answer me? So we've got that sort of nurse it looks like a looks like a man actually but anyway we've got this nurse and she gets another phone call and it seems to be like a dirty phone call We then jump to our university, which this uh, film is based upon, and it's at a, a, a basketball game. So the team have been successful as we join them now as they're going into the uh, locker room post-match. Um, then their manager comes in and tells them sort of like well done with the match and uh, enjoyed themselves because I think it's like a uh, they've got this sort of party sort of um, coming up. I should do a better job than the guys. <laughs> now hey, enjoy yourself tonight. It was a great win. But don't wear yourselves out helping the sorority ladies with the scavenger hunt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 oh, by the way. We then join a couple of the players outside uh, walking uh, with one of the girls and they come across a couple of the basketball fans. Momentum turned on the hardwood floor of 
the legendary Dew College campus to lie when the incomparable uh -huh. maniac, Grizzliak, and the legendary quintessential Theodore Ratliff turned up the motors and snatched the victory from the shores of the feast. <laughs> and, 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 and meanwhile, and the, these two um, fans are quite funny. They're quite they're quite cool actually. Uh, in fact, most of the cast are quite cool actually. Anyway, anyway, the um, the girl and that start asking them if they're gonna if the two guys are gonna be going to the party. It's the about you dressing up. Ooh, 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 ooh. You know, I'm glad you asked that question because I am going as Beaver Cleaver <laughs> dancer. He's gonna cleave the Beaver. Oh, <laughs> He's disgusting. Uh, you may remember in the beginning of the film, one of the clips, you saw this guy at the hospital hanging himself. Um, well, he's supposedly been, he's supposedly be dead. And then we cut to a graveyard where there's two guys about to bury the body of that guy that hung himself. So yeah, you can see one guy there drinking and digging the grave, and then the van turns up with the body. He just hung himself at the asylum. His sister's the one who's paying us to bury. Right, so you can see there that um, while they were trying to put the body in the grave, the uh, somebody sneaks up behind them, grabs a shovel, and kills both of the grave diggers. On first viewing, I thought, oh, it's the it's the body because you see the hand drop out of the sack, but it's obviously not. Uh, it's somebody else that's there. Anyway, so the two grave diggers have, have been killed. Uh, we didn't cut to one of the teen girls uh, walking through the woods, going back to her. her sorority house i expect and um she thinks that something's following her and then she gets a jump scare off where's wally So there we are. We meet Where's Wally? He's in the film. Um, yeah, a bit of a strange character. It reminds me of a character in in the film Happy Birthday to Me. It's quite similar. Um, but um, he he then offers to walk the girl home. You know, you really scared me. <laughs> you know, girls shouldn't be out at night alone. I'm beginning to find that out. <laughs> Let's go. <sighs> <laughs> And then we cut to our party. <laughs> so you can see it's a fancy dress party. Can't put a lot of clips up here because there's a lot of um, actual um, music being played 
in the party, so I couldn't really show a lot, but um, which is a shame because it's really good fun. It's a really cool sort of part of the film, the party. There's lots of sort of like humour and jokes and stuff in there, which is cool. But here's a little clip of Benson dressed in his bear suit. So as the party goes on and on and there's lots of jokes and lots of little clippets of uh, funny bit stuff, it turns into like a little bit of like, um, a bit like Porky's and American Pie kind of thing. These sort of teens trying to get it together, which was quite typical of the 1980s. Um, so there's a lot of that going on and stuff like that. And near the end of the party, they decide to have a photo together. We then cut to um, Benson's house, to, you know, the guy that's dressed as a bear. He's gone home, he's at his house, and he's got a knock on the door. And he goes to answer it, and sadly he succumbs to being killed by our killer. <laughs> we then cut to one of the guys with uh, one of the teens in bed having a bit of a joke. And it is quite funny, some funny jokes goes on there. Um, but you saw there that Benson has stolen, uh, suit has been stolen. So our killer has now got the bear suit. And he dresses up in that. And he becomes like a the killer dressed up in that. But yeah, we've got these our two teens in bed. And one of them hears a noise outside and goes to investigate. So, yeah, so he goes out to investigate and he treats us to a double jump scare. We then jump back to our party and there's a couple there and a bit of an argument and... Uh, yeah, I think the the boyfriend's a bit sort of possessive over his, his you know, he's a bit of a sort of, um, don't know, I don't know if he's a bully or anything, but he seems to be a bit uh, possessive of her. And anyway, she ends up slapping him and he leaves the party and stuff like that. And then the next day, he's visited um, while he's sitting in the park looking like Forrest Gump. He's visited by um, uh, the police officer. Hello, you're Mike Pryor, aren't you? Right. Well, I hear you caused quite a stir last night. Well, I really don't think it's any of your business. Anything or anybody that caused a commotion around this campus is my business. It's all bullshit. What's the matter with you? So we're going to cut a bit further into the film now, and we join our killer um, at home um, uh, customising the bear suit. A complete set of works of Khalil Gibran from Campus Books. Ten pounds of nails from Friendly Hardware. Three Mobile Note Test Grips and a gallon of gas from Al Service Station. So, get ready and let's get going. Here's clue number one. I help keep your gums strong and I'm hiding in a place a vegetable might be tried. Did you get that one? I'm good for... So you can see that these sort of like um, fixed blades onto where the paws are. And that's all I'm going to tell you. Um, what's going to happen? You know, obviously this killer is on a rampage and he's and he's got this customised bear suit with his blades. Is he going to go around the whole university killing people? Are we going to find out who he is? Is it somebody we already know? Um, it's something you need to watch and find out because that's all I'm going to tell you. What do I think of the film? It's an amazing film. Absolutely incredible film. I was a bit in two minds about enjoying it because I've seen some reviews on YouTube and it's just what goes to prove that don't always believe what you other people say because to me, it was incredible. 
It was an amazing film. I absolutely loved every single bit of it. And I loved the whole premise of the film. I liked the killer. I thought it was a really, really cool sort of idea. And and the killer does get revealed at the end, which was a, which was cool too. Uh, really good ending, I thought, uh, to the film. Um, there's quite there's a few more kills, quite gory kills coming up now because it is a bit of a slow film. Yeah, I do give them that. It's a bit of a slow film, but it's paced really well because the bits where there's not a lot of um, sort of killings, whatever going on, it's really good fun. Because you're getting to know all the sort of teens and they're quite cool. They're really nice and funny and there's some quite funny jokes in there. And it's a typical 80s feel to the film. And when I watched it, it just reminded me of my, my youth. When I was a young lad, going to parties and going around friends' houses and doing stuff like that. And we were all like this, all sort of like, uh, you know, chatting up with girls or whatever you're doing. You know, it's so 80s. It was just brilliant. I loved every single minute of that. And the soundtrack was quite cool too. It had a really good soundtrack. So the pluses of the film, the transfer is really nice. It's quite crisp and clear. Um, there is some old sort of like noise on the film. Um, but I think it's because the film's been kept in poor quality um, before they decided to, to restore it. But they've restored it really well. Arrow done a good job. And it looks great. Um, the characters are really cool. Really good. Um, it is. It, 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 there is some comedy in it, but the first forty-five minutes to the first hour is quite funny, and there's quite a lot of jokes. But in the last hour, it turns into an out-and-out -out slasher, um, which, which is cool. When that gave it like a, a sort of twist in the film halfway through the film, which I liked. Um, really cool. Um, and I didn't get find one minute of it. I was glued to it. I didn't find any sort of minutes of it, oh, it's too slow, too boring, not enough kills. I thought there was enough kills in it, to be honest. And I thought it was really, really good. And I thought the kills are really cool. It's well planned out. Uh, some good gore in there. Um, and, and there was not anything I couldn't really dislike about the film, to be honest. Um, I just really enjoyed it. And I watched it with the lad, Lemon Lord, and he enjoyed it too. He thought it was a really, really cool film. He really absolutely enjoyed it. To the point where you're thinking of, well, I might pick it up one day. It was really good. Uh, yeah, we both really enjoyed it. It was like really quite funny, but in quite slasher because it, it's the bits of it, like say, the bits of it's a bit like Porky's, and in other bits of it were like really sort of like um, Friday the Thirteenth sort of slashery, where you had like a uh, first person perspectives and that sort of eerie music while the girls are being sort of stalked or whatever. Um, the title is a bit strange, Girls' Night Out, because it wasn't just about the girls, really. It was, it was, it was, you know, it's like high, they should have called it High School Night Out or whatever, because it was about uh, the boys and the girls. It wasn't just about the girls. So, uh, yeah, the title was a bit strange, a bit misleading, but excellent film. I'm going to score it now. I'm going to score it an awesome watch, and I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. This would have got a 10 out of 10 if, um, the picture was a bit more better quality and if the extra features were a bit more um in depth there's a on this you do have a few interviews on the de on on the disc on the extra features there's about four or five interviews and some trailers and a commentary i would like to have, i would love them to have done what they did with the pieces um edition with that um, cinema audience reaction thing would have been really cool in there that would have been awesome but yeah great film underrated slasher movie girls night out nine out of ten loved it have any of you guys seen it if, if you have let me know down below what you thought of it i've seen a lot of people review it and a few a few channels that i like to watch as well reviewed it and they've all given it sort of mediocre reviews well i disagree with you oh, I, I think it was amazing uh, maybe you need to watch it again. Maybe you need to go in there with not oh, some expectation. Go in there with just thinking, oh, this is going to be fun. And it is. It's a fun sort of like, starts off, like I said, like a sort of Porky's, um, uh, American Pie kind of feel to the film. And then turns into this slasher movie. And lots of it, when I was watching it, I felt, oh, this is so much like Pieces. And it has got that sort of feel to it. And I, I really enjoyed that. And it's really, really cool. I absolutely love the film. 9 out of 10. 
Guys, check out some horror channels for me before my next review or any other video I might do. Check out Horror Hands or the Horror Geek, Man V Film, RS Designs. Um, check out um, Pizzlewell and I Am The Ice Lord and Sarah of Horror. All amazing channels, guys. Until next time, you look after yourselves, look after one another, and I really hope I'll see you all soon.